Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times, literally in the end times for the summer garden of 2021. Good Lord. What a summer it has been, and it is now Labor Day. It is Monday, September 6, 2021, as the summer of 2021 begins to disappear. So, uh, I am out here in the one of my most bittersweet days of my life as an organic gardener uh, ripping up the summer of 2021 garden I how do you call something that made too much food a failure anyway only I could uh, grow so much food that I have to make the garden pronounce the garden a failure so uh, we're just going to uh, start ripping it apart. Oh man. Part one of the uh, Probably the most ironic thing of all about this garden is the uh, is the drip irrigation system. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> let me tell you how much we needed a drip irrigation system. I I paid over two hundred dollars for this drip irrigation system. You know uh, when I was planting this garden last year when we were having a drought in the Finger Lakes. And uh, we didn't have a drought in the Finger Lakes this year. I think it's safe to say the drought has moved on. All right, so I put these onions and potatoes in on, uh, it was May 17th. Now next year, I mean, I probably am going to have onions and potatoes. I've been eating them all summer already. I mean, it, it, it literally, this was probably maybe $5 I had into these two beds. So, especially if you use the weed barrier, you stick them in the damn ground in May, you can start eating them. It was unbelievable. I've been eating potatoes out of here since July. And uh, so you stick them in the ground and walk away. So as easy as potatoes are, as easy as potatoes and onions, I probably will just go ahead and stick some potatoes and onions uh, out here next year. Now I like, you know, the onions. I've, I, li I actually like the onions when they're little babies. So I. I've already eaten and given away most of the onions, but let's get a few of the leftover onions. Then we're going to dig some taters. Oh, Lord. What a summer. Ah, these gorgeous basil plants. I think I'm going to dig up these basil plants and move them up right outside the kitchen so we can have a kitchen garden. All right. Now, the onions took the biggest hit, and the, you know, this garden has been underwater three times this summer. I think the onions took the biggest hit. Uh. All right. We 
got yellow, white, and red onions. Get my trusty. All right. Let's go back and pick up the remnants. Man, some of these are breaking off. I'll have to. You know, you just reach in the ground and you pull food out of the ground. That's the way. Gardening is supposed to work. Look at these beautiful onions. Uh, now, I know, you know, if I was really doing this right, I would be uh, hanging them to dry in the garage and all of that shit. I'm just going to set them out to dry in the sun and, and And then what I'm getting ready to do is uh, I'm getting ready to till all this stuff up and for whatever I just went into this garden another $35. What I've decided to do this year is I am uh, putting in my green manure cover crops. So uh, I'm going to take an all of the above approach and I am making a literally a mixed bag of uh, of medium red clover, hairy vetch, and annual rye. Medium red clover, hairy, I, I got, uh, I've got about, I don't know, three or four thousand square feet. What I got, I, I got a, I got three pounds of medium red clover, three pounds of hairy vetch and a five pound bag of annual rye grass and I am going to uh, I'm just gonna turn this a little bit with the shovel turn this a little bit with the shovel then that's what I'm putting on an area this size and uh, seeing what it looks like. When I get back next spring and decide what the hell I'm putting in here, uh, uh, Oh, well, that's enough onions. This is enough onions to uh, see me through. Okay, but I have been enjoying these. As I say, they it takes 10 minutes to plant an onion patch, and I've been eating these onions. I'll get four months of onion eating out of it. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with this drip irrigation system. Good lord, now I gotta 
store the fucker all. Oh, winter. Okay, let's start digging these here taters. I love digging taters. I've been, again, these potatoes went in on, uh, they went in on May 17th, and I can't believe how quickly. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get a, you know, I, I didn't think I would be harvesting a single potato till about now. Good Lord, I've been eating these things for how long? Let's get the... The spading fork, I have had many rants on the spading fork being the most misunderstood. Good God, this is one potato plant. Look at these, look at these guys. Man. <laughs> anyway, I see the chipmunks have found the potatoes, but I think there's more than enough potatoes for me and the chipmunks. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Uh, anyone who cannot grow potatoes, I, uh, I enjoyed a comment from someone who shall rename, remain nameless, leaving a comment over there on Collapse Chronicles, basically telling me I don't know how to grow food or I'm growing all the wrong, wrong food. And this clueless moron made some comment that potatoes had, uh, you know, no value to keep you alive. In uh, the end times or whatever, I just I guess this moron has never heard of the Irish potato famine or is unfamiliar with the country of Peru, uh, where potatoes are the number one uh, source of sustenance for the country of Peru. But uh, some people think that potatoes are not a proper, do, this moron, what did he, what did this fucking moron tell me? Uh, po potatoes, tomatoes, beans, and squash. Uh, do not plant potatoes, tomatoes, beans, or squash. That none of those offer any sort of advantage. Uh, so, anyway, what's nice about gardening is you have all different viewpoints. Uh, so, man, look at these suckers. Look at that. Well, whether or not they have any uh, nutritional output, uh, they sure are damn good to come out here and dig these suckers up. And I'm sure I'm missing probably at least a fourth of them. Good God. Now, in the south, you could just leave these in the ground and they'd pretty much just keep on making potatoes probably for the next 10 years. They're almost a perennial plant, but the Yankees up here have told me that, uh, you know, that my raised beds in the Finger Lakes of New York are gonna freeze into absolute blocks of ice. And uh, to not leave them in the ground, they will not make it so I guess I'm just going to dig these up, be like that damn cornfield. Man, look at these things. Uh, 
I didn't realize I had planted so many white potatoes. I thought I had more. I guess I've been eating a lot more of the red potatoes because I like the, I prefer the red potatoes with my uh, pole beans. So. Good God Almighty, guys. <laughs> there you go. What the hell is that thing? Looks like a manatee. Man, look at that beautiful bit. So, any who's, this is what I am doing on my last real day in the garden. I don't know what I'm going to do about these damn tomatoes. Good Lord. <laughs> ah! Look at these goddamn tomatoes. I already have 40 pounds of tomatoes. I was trying to give these tomatoes away to uh, hip campers and Airbnbers sitting here trying to give away these uh, homegrown organic fresh tomatoes. Having no takers, no takers on the 30 pounds of tomatoes sitting out here. Anyway. It is a fine day to have a bittersweet goodbye to the summer of 2021 garden. Good guy, there must be how many pounds of fucking beans still on there. Get out there and enjoy your summer of 2021 garden while you still can. My guys.